Meet Marlon Chito Vera, the man slowly becoming known as the UFC legend killer. Born in Joan, Ecuador, Chito quickly rose through the ranks, compiling a record of 6-1-1 one one before earning a spot on the Ultimate Fighter Latin America. With fast hands and devastating kicks, Marlon has become a fan favorite, known for his dynamic fighting style and unwavering determination in the octagon. Over the years, Cheeto has racked up five Performance of the Night awards, three Fight of the Night awards, and holds the most finishes in UFC bantamweight history. Today, he stands at number four in the UFC bantamweight rankings and has got his eyes set on the UFC gold. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. As a young man growing up in a rough neighborhood, Cheeto turned to martial arts to help channel his energy and keep himself out of trouble. He made his professional MMA debut in 2010, and over the next few years, he honed his skills and built a solid record as a fighter. In 2014, Vera auditioned for the Ultimate Fighter Latin America, a reality show produced by the UFC that featured fighters from Latin America. He was eventually selected to be a part of Team Verdum, and he made it all the way to the semifinals before being eliminated from the competition. As Vera's career continued to progress, he was signed by the UFC in 2014, and he made his debut in the Octagon later that year. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in his fighting career and Vera was eager to prove himself as one of the top fighters in the world. Despite losing his debut match against Marco Beltran, Vera won his next UFC match showcasing an incredible defensive masterclass and ended the fight with a brutal armbar. In August 2015, Vera faced Roman Salazar at UFC Fight Night 73. In the second round, Vera secured a triangle and transitioned into a triangle armbar, causing Salazar to tap out quickly. This was a quick and decisive victory for Vera, who demonstrated his grappling skills and ability to finish the fight on the ground. He quickly racked up a string of wins and losses, including a TKO victory over Brad Pickett, when Vera was able to connect with a left high kick that sent Pickett crashing to the mat. In 2017, he faced John Lineker in a hard-fought battle that unfortunately didn't go his way as he lost by unanimous decision. The following year, he had fights against Andrade, Wu, and Canetti, which showcased his versatility, striking, and grappling skills. However, after losing another unanimous decision to Andrade, Cheeto went on a rampage and won his next five fights with finish after finish. Despite a couple of controversial decision losses, including one against Song Yadong in 2020. Vera bounced back by defeating Sean O'Malley, derailing one of the biggest hype trains in the UFC. This win, even though it ended due to an injury to O'Malley, pushed Vera to mainstream UFC status. Later that year, Vera would go up against the legendary Jose Aldo, and despite not being able to kill this legend, Vera showed his resilience and improved fighting skills by going on a four-fight win streak. At UFC 268, Frankie Edgar faced Ecuadorian striker Vera in an intense battle. The fight began with both fighters trading strikes, with Edgar walking down Vera and landing several punches. Edgar attempted a takedown, but Vera defended with a guillotine choke. Edgar broke the posture and landed vicious elbows, but Vera fought back with more elbows from his back until the round came to an end. In the following rounds, Vera attacked first with long, rangy punches and front kicks, scoring several strikes and making Edgar backpedal. The power differential was in Vera's favor, but Edgar still managed to land several punches. Towards the end of the third round, Vera steps back to unleash a front kick reminiscent of Anderson Silver Boone Vittori Belfort in the face. Edgar's legs disintegrate beneath him as he falls face first to the mat and signals the first UFC legend dismantle by Marlon Vera. This win earned Cheeto performance of the night and laid the foundation of his reputation as the legend killer. It was the next fight with Cruz that were fully cemented. On August 13, 2022, former champion Dominic Cruz faced off against Cheeto Vera in a fight scheduled for five rounds. Cruz came out aggressive, throwing a high kick followed by a combination of punches. Despite Cruz's pressure, Vera was able to counter with a left hand and drop Cruz. The former champion quickly popped back up and continued to pressure with combinations, but Vera avoided the flurry of punches. 
Vera also managed to avoid Cruz's takedown attempts and even stuffed a few against the fence. In the end, Vera's power proved to be too much for Cruz as he knocked him down several times before landing a perfectly timed head kick that sent Cruz face first into the canvas. The victory marked Vera's fourth win in a row and yet another performance of the night award showcasing his impressive striking power throughout the fight. These two massive victories over two of the biggest names in the sport showed the world what Marlon Vera was truly capable of. He proved that he was not just a talented fighter, but a true knockout artist. What a firecracker of a match coming up next in Corey Sanhagen. Cheeto looks to continue his winning streak on March 25th, 2023. Cheeto has been on a hot streak with four consecutive victories dating back to 2021. He has demonstrated his technical proficiency by alternating wins through decisions over David Grant and Rob Font. As well as clean knockouts of Frankie Edgar and Dominic Cruz. With an 80% finish rate, Vera holds the UFC's bantamweight record for the most wins by stoppage and is just one win behind TJ Dillashaw's record for the most knockouts. On the other hand, Sanhagen will enter the fight after putting an end to his first career losing streak with a dominant win over Song Yandong in September 2022. The fight was stopped in the fourth round after the doctor intervened to save Song from further damage, granting Sanhagen the fifth win of this type in the late rounds in UFC history. Prior to his two losses, Sanhagen established himself as a top contender with knockout wins over Marlon Moraes and Frankie Edgar, the latter of which was highlighted by a flying knee. With 12 UFC bonuses between Cheeto and the Sandman, this fight is guaranteed to be a striking masterclass. Both fighters bring an exciting and dynamic style to the cage, and it's hard to predict who will come out on top. However, just one week before this fight goes down, there is an absolute banger of a fight in the middleweight division that you don't want to miss between Roman Dolidze and Marvin Vittori. Click the video on the screen to get caught up now, and we'll see you there.